Good morning, it's morning here in Kansas City and today I will be sharing with you why you should use a Facebook pixel and how to put in your first pixel. So if you see on my screen here, I go to facebook.com and I go slash, I go to power editor. The reason that I use power editor is that when you do Facebook ads, your copywriting, uh, in your copywriting, you can actually write a little longer copywriting. If you go to slash ads manager, then you have, you, there are some rules with Facebook that you, so it's a little bit less word. So that's why I like to go to power editor first time, but you don't need to think about that yet. But when you come here, I'm using my husband's uh, just because he has less ads on. And you can start tour if you want, uh, or you can don't show this again. Just for the purpose, I'm just going to show you uh, so that you know the sidebar switch between your campaign, ad sets and ads. Search for different campaign that you have put up already and just um yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to see pixel and then create a facebook pixel each personally account have a facebook pixel that is unique so you can only have one unless you want to become a social media manager and then you create a, a business account. So create a pixel, Peter Kiskela's uh, pixel, and then I'll just go continue. And then I will go, you can go to manually add pixel code to a website or email instruction to a developer. I'm going to email, well, first I'm going to just do this, add pixel, uh, so that you will show here, you can see copy to, so now I already copy it. And if I go to one of my lead pages, uh, I use ClickFunnels. If you don't know what that is, I can highly recommend you use that for everything. In your business, I use it for all my funnels, my homepage, my courses, um, and I put a link to it under this video if you want to use it. Then I go into, I have a funnel called list building. I just go into edit, and then I go into settings, and I go into tracking code, and then here I just paste code in and now it's good to go I close and then I put on save if you have many different this is just the first page you can also do it on the next page depending on you know if you have a course or if you have a long funnel that needs that you track every step of the of the journey that people take when they opt into your funnel then you know you can take on each page but this is basically what you do and then you can also like email the instructions and then i'm going to email it just to myself mail at peter and rebecca.com and then I'm going to hit send. So this is how you do. It's that simple. You go into Facebook slash power editor. You go down and then you go to pixel. You'll come into a page. You go to set up pixel. 
You can add it manually directly if you already know where you want it to go, or you can email it to a developer or to yourself so you have it. So with anything, your, your homepage, your website, your blog post, all your funnels, all your lead magnets, everything. I would put a Facebook pixel on everything. And the reason why I want to do that is that let's say that I have a free challenge going out, a five day free challenge. And then people said, oh yes, I really want to join that free challenge. They click on the link and then for some reason they get distracted let's say the baby are screaming or something or something else or they opt into their first landing page and they come to uh, for example a order bump a sales pump bump that you have put up and then they don't get time to finish it when you turn on your ads everyone that have clicked on any of your pages will be targeted this is why it's so crucial and so important. Even people that are just curious and I don't, are not ready to take any steps yet, they will click on your website, they will read a little bit about you, but they're not ready to do any business with you yet. Then what you do when you turn on your app, the pixel will remember everyone that went to their site and you'll be able to retarget them. That's why I think it's super important to do that from the start. If you have any question, just post on under the video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'm looking forward to connect more.